ओके हाय ओरिवन सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन असाइनमेंट सो दिस असाइनमेंट विल हैव द एंड टू एंड डेवलपमेंट फॉर योर एमबीसी प्रोजेक्ट सो फॉर फ्रंट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एसटीएमएल सीएसएस जावास्क्रिप्ट जेक्वेरी एंड अजेक्स फॉर बैक एंड पार्ट वी विल यूज सी शार्प एंड एसपी डॉट नेट एमबीसी फॉर कम्युनिकेटिंग विद द डेटाबेस वी विल यूज एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क कोर एंड फॉर क्रिएटिंग द डेटाबेस वी विल यूज एमएस इक्वल सो दिस इज आवर टेक्नोलॉजी स्टैक i will write down here content we will use html css javascript jquery ajax that's it okay for back end we will use esp.net mvc okay then also we will use uh c sharp as a language we will use entity framework entity framework for database communication okay then we will use database as a ms sql okay this is our technology stack and uh, let's analyze the requirement first what are all things we need to do with the help of uh this requirements with the help of this requirement we will just analyze it and try to create our application as it is okay so see we have to create one database so database name should be mvc employee database okay this will be our database name once i create the database it will have this table it should have this table table name will be employee that table will have id first name last name employee email address phone number designation id id as a foreign key of the designation table okay grade id as a foreign key of the grade table so it means there are three different tables one table is a employee which is our master table designation is another master table and we will have one more table that is designation grade okay three master table having the references with each other so one employee can have one designation one employee can have one grade definition okay because it has a one to one relationship between employee table and these two tables now this is another master table will have the information about your designation so employee can have the designation like uh, software developer software tester also he can have the designation uh it admin like that so that kind of information we will store into this table then next one is designation grade okay so you will see some sample data here so designation can be junior software engineer is active true software engineer is active true senior software engineer true so this is your actual designation okay next one is in the grade table we will have a1 grade for one true manje means one designation can have multiple grades so the relationship between these two tables are one to many got it so you will have one to many relationship between designation table and designation grade table got it so here you can see why i am telling like this because here we are having designation id as a reference and if you notice here one id has multiple grades see id 1 1 1 has a1 a2 a3 2 has b1 b2 b3 b4 okay 3 has b5 5 has c1 it means one grade sorry one designation has multiple grades one to many relationship okay in database relationships are very important you should know what you, you want to do one to one relationship you want to do many to one relationship you want to do one to many relationship or you want to do many to many relationship so these four types of relationship we can do uh, with the help of uh, ms sql in the relational database okay now if i go further this is the actual requirement of your application so here if if you analyze what they want us to do is they want us to create this table in the database with the help of entity framework you can go with there are three approaches in entity framework one is code first approach database first approach and 
model first approach. Okay, so if you go with the code first approach, it means inside your source code, you have to write the model classes. In those model classes, you will have this proper this column name as a properties. You will require one DB context class. In that class, you have to register all these table names or model classes inside the DB set. By using that DB context class, you can basically create the database with the help of update database command. So this is all we are going to do. Okay. Right now you won't understand what I'm saying, but when I will do it as a practical, you will definitely understand. Okay. Yeah, going further. So this is your requirement. So as per the requirement, we have to implement the crude operation with the employee table. Okay. So you will, you should have one add employee button in your web page. If you click on that, it will open the add employee form. In that add employee form, you can basically uh, fill the information about your employee. That form should have these many properties. What are all properties? First name, last name, email address, phone number, designation as a drop down, grade as a drop down. In these two drop downs, we need to bind the information which is coming from these two tables designation and grade. Again, designation and grade has the relationship between them and they should have the cascading functionality. What cascading? If I choose designation as a junior engineer, then in the designation grade drop down, we should have only these three options because junior engineer has ID one and for ID one, we are having only three grades. So this is called as a cascading, cascading relationship between your uh, two tables and same you have to basically replicate into the UI. So this is important. Okay. Next one is edit employee form. In edit employee form, you will have, you should have the same number of fields, but whenever I will open that employee form in an edit mode, it will pre-populate the information of the currently selected employee. Got it? So that thing we will just do with the help of edit employee form. And last one is list employee. So list employee is basically one of the page where we will display all the added newly added employee which are available into your database. We will just show them in the list format in a grid format. Okay. So let's understand is from the list user can edit and delete record. So edit we will basically go to the edit page from the list of employee page and there will be one more button delete record. You should be able to delete that record and while doing that while adding or editing an employee you should care about all these validations. Okay, what are all validations? This one, require field validation, first name, email address, de designation, drop down, all these things. Then you need to have the email ID validation as well. We will use jQuery validate library for this purpose. Okay, phone number validation, max length validation. So we can do all these things with that library. I will show you that. Next one is naming convention of controls. So, Whenever you will give some name to your form controls, it should have proper naming convention. So that way by looking at your name only, you should, you should know which control we are referring to. Okay. So all these things. So I think, I hope you got the understanding about the requirement. Now we'll start jump into the development, start creating the schema for the database. Okay. Let me stop the recording.